It's 2007, baby. And it's time to look at Ubuntu. Or Ubuntu, wherever you say it, who cares? Now, I might be one of the few strange people that went from Gen 2 to this distribution. But there's a very good reason why I did. Now, some of you are going to know exactly what makes this distribution special. Especially this version. But we'll keep that a surprise for later for the people that don't know. But for now, let's talk about the installation process. Look how absolutely simple this is. Look how simple that was. Like, I just clicked a few buttons, typed in a few details, and my system's installing. No faffing around, no hard. Now, Ubuntu gets a lot of hate in the Linux community. Some of it deserved, some of it not. But, we all have to admit, if it was not for them, we would not be where we are today. These are the first people that came in and fixed the real issues we had in Linux. And that is an actual usable desktop system. I mean, you can't argue that. But yeah, like, what you've just seen speaks for itself, honestly, doesn't it? Let's uh, reboot into the system. And uh, have a little play around, see what we can see. Oh, I love the brown. I absolutely love the brown things. I know Brody doesn't like it, but for me, this is home. Oh, that star tune is amazing as well. Alright, let's take a little look around then, see what we've got. So we've got Firefox finally here. I don't know what version this was. 2.2? No. You know what? I've been taking the piss out of Firefox for many, many years now, saying they look like um, a Chromium clone. But I don't actually think it's any different between version 2 and what I'm running now. Maybe I need to shut up about that. Let's go and take a look around then at what default things are installed on this. I got a game, so I'll have a look at them later on. Internet, email clients, and they've all got AIM in there as well. All the more media stuff, no XMMS anymore. Guess that was out of favour. OpenOffice 2.2. Deary me. I forgot how long that first boot up used to take. I remember why we used to compile this on Gen 2 now, because it used to be like a two minute launch time. If you compiled it yourself, it dropped it down to about five seconds. Back when optimizations actually meant something. If I remember rightly, it was the Java that made it so. I can't remember. Hey, it looks all. Uh, it looks like an office program now to me. This is what I'd be expecting. So we can definitely see the change in Linux now. We're starting to mimic. Um, what Windows users would expect and I know we're not going to like that but how a desktop environment should be let's take a look at GIMP next so it's still in the split window theme uh, the split windows I remember moaning about an online comments that I thought it was better, but hey, at least when you open a file now you can save it easy without having the right click. So I'll take it. Thank you very much, Gimp Team. I'll take a little look at the games. Uh, I'll play some Tetris as long as that last video. It was terrible, wasn't it? Oh, nice. Let's see how bad I do at a game of Tetris. 
was something that made Ubuntu special around this time and that was desktop effects now I can't get this to work in the VM at the moment due to a driver issues so I'm going to uh, use someone else's video who has had who's shown this off for us and pop it in just now so you can but this was the turning point of linux this was our killer application and i'm rather sad that it went away to be honest and people don't understand it but linux is better than windows for 102 different reasons but wobbly windows Wobbly Windows is the first time in my life that people used to ring up me and say can you switch me to Linux rather than me having to explain why it was good. It was what made us special. And us losing it was a sad time I think and uh, probably set us back more than anything else we've ever done. But I think that's something that us Linux users don't really understand. People don't care what a desktop does it's just part of the computer but what you do care about is how it looks and Ubuntu was that distribution that realized that started fixing it Well, thank you for coming along and, and joining me on this one. Um, in the comments this time, I'd love to hear your stories about when you switched to Ubuntu and what you thought of Wobbly Windows. Do you want them to come back? Do you, do you hate them? But anyway, keep compiling, everyone. So it's clear I have a Gen 2 addiction. Why not help enable me to get new hardware or just cope with the stresses with vodka like these wonderful people you see before you? Prices only start at one dollar and every little bit helps me. Thank you. Some upcoming ideas I have are shown on the screen now, but obviously it's up to you.